Is your chihuahua a teacup or a micro teacup? What is that anyways? What exactly does that mean? First of all, these terms are officially unofficial. I guess it all stems from the idea that a teacup is like a very small cup. And also it rhymes with we, as in like really small. But what about micro? Hmm, shot glass chihuahua. That's an idea. Or how about a teacup sized shot glass? So by the end of this video, hopefully you guys will know, not hopefully, you will know. So by the end of this video, you guys will know what a teacup and a micro teacup is and how much a teacup chihuahua should actually weigh. If you're new to Sweetie Pie Pets, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell for alerts every time I put out a new video. So people have used this term teacup for decades to describe the smallest of the small chihuahuas and actually other breeds of dogs as well. However, it is an unofficial term. And I repeat, the term teacup is not official. It's not recognized by any kennel clubs, any veterinarians, any books, any schools, or by any DNA tests. And that's fine. Even if it's not official, people still use that term just to describe the smallest of the small. I was born as a chihuahua, but I identify as a teacup. So you can call your chihuahua a teacup if you want to. If your chihuahua is super small or maybe even just the runt of the litter, I personally don't see any harm in calling it a teacup. So the, the confusion really comes when you try to decide exactly what weight a teacup should be. Is it four pounds? Is it three pounds? Is it two pounds? Since teacup is an unofficial term, there's really no definitive description of how much a teacup weighs. There are no facts no weights, and no size limit cutoffs. And that actually goes for all the unofficial terms for Chihuahua sizes. Pint-sized, purse-sized, pocket-sized, miniature, thimble-sized, or whatever terms you can come up with. Or any term that begins with micro. So the question is, why do we even use these terms for Chihuahuas if they're unofficial? Well, they are descriptive terms, and also they appeal to our sense of <laughs> Why can't I remember words? And they appeal to our sense of vision and our imagination. Sometimes I think people use these terms for bragging rights. Oh, well, I have a micro miniature thimble sized chihuahua. And it's so small that like you can't even see it. So is it bad to use these descriptive terms? Well, bad is a matter of opinion. There are definitely some people who don't like those terms. I would say to be careful when you're looking to purchase a Chihuahua or adopt one, when you see those terms, since they can be used arbitrarily, you wanna find out exactly what that means. Why is the person posting that Chihuahua as a teacup or a micro teacup? What do they mean? Sometimes they end up not being so small. I would say to be very careful and don't be fooled if you're about to spend a lot of money on a micro teacup. It could grow to be like nine pounds. See my Chihuahua weight chart for more information on that. Just use more precise descriptions. Here's what I would ask if I was looking for a Chihuahua. How much do the parents weigh? How much does the puppy weigh right now? And how old is the puppy? Is she the smallest in her litter? How big are her litter mates? And you can estimate how big the puppy should be when she's full grown. Little side note, it's not in the script, but I'm just adding it. If you go to look at a litter of Chihuahuas and all of them are this big and there's one that's like half the size, you might want to be real careful because it could just be that that particular chihuahua has some health problems. So although it is an unofficial term, what would I say qualifies as a teacup? Let's talk about a standard size chihuahua. Kennel clubs and chihuahua clubs alike agree that chihuahuas should weigh no more than six pounds full grown. And let's be clear, six pounds is not large. So if you do have a chihuahua that's over six pounds, that doesn't mean that it's not a chihuahua. That just means that if you entered it into some sort of a dog show, it probably would get points against it or it might even be disqualified from competition depending on the rules of the particular dog show. So most cow clubs and chihuahua clubs agree that a chihuahua should be between three to six pounds. So maybe a three pound chihuahua in its unofficial term could be considered a teacup chihuahua just because it's on the smaller side of chihuahuas. And maybe any chihuahuas under three pounds might be considered a micro teacup. These are all layman's terms, but regardless, it's just still a way, mm. these are all just layman's terms, but regardless, it's just a way to be descriptive of the size of your particular chihuahua. Regardless what term you use to describe your chihuahua, I will say that it's important to remember that the chihuahuas on the smaller side of the spectrum are definitely more fragile. 
So put some thought into it before you decide to adopt a Chihuahua that's super tiny, tiny, uber thimble sized. It will need a lot of attention and you probably shouldn't go off to work and leave it home alone for nine hours at a time. And the reverse is also true. The slightly larger Chihuahuas tend to be less fragile and can spend more time home alone. Again, really there are no rules on these terms since they're unofficial. But I still like to use them because a lot of people do. There seems to be a lot of shade on both sides of the spectrum. The people that use the term hate it when people don't use the term and the people that don't use the term hate it when people do use the term. I for one don't really care. I mean if we're all just trying to describe the smallest of the small chihuahuas, why does it matter what words we use? Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope I answered all your questions on what a teacup is. And if you have any questions or concerns or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm still trying to respond to every single comment and question. Thank you guys. I will see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pet.